Hey guys, Jesse Bayer here from Living Ecuador, uh, coming today on Wednesday, May 3rd, 2017. Uh, cost of living, Loja, Ecuador, that's what this video is on. I gotta preface it. This is a super boring subject to me, but it's important and people really want to know. A lot of people have questions about it. I do need to just mention something though before I give you guys a scoop on what it costs to live here. Um, I've noticed a lot of people you know, who sort of look at Ecuador and kind of the sole factor and what interests them, not a lot of people, but some, you know, some percentage, uh, is, is just prices, is cost of living. And yeah, it's true. Like Ecuador is really cheap right now. You can come here on a fixed income and live really inexpensively. And obviously that's a perk and an advantage. That being said, it's not a reason to come. It really, really, really is not a reason to come. And that's for two reasons. One, you're not going to enjoy your life living in a place that you're living in just because of price, just because of cost of living. That's one. Number two, prices change, guys. <laughs> Inflation, uh, you know, we don't, you don't know what prices are going to look like a year, two years, three years, five years, ten years from now. That's another video for another day in terms of, you know, all the things that factor into that. But, you know, just, you can just look at history country by country and you can see how quickly sometimes and certainly dramatically sometimes cost of living can change. So with that preface in mind, um, I'm going to give you some prices, some ideas of prices uh, here in Loja, Ecuador, where I live. You can certainly extrapolate this cost of living out to the majority of Ecuador, not all of it. There's places that are more expensive. If you're in a super touristy coastal area, it's more expensive. If you're in a really large city, um, certainly things like rent is going to be more expensive. Um, but in general, it's ballpark. So. Um, what do we got? Uh, your basic meal. So if you're having breakfast, um, which, which Ecuadorians don't, Ecuadorians obviously on, uh, Ecuadorians, uh, often eat a lunch like meal for breakfast. So you might have rice and chicken and that sort of stuff. Um, if you're having breakfast, um, you're looking at, you know, somewhere between a dollar 75 and three bucks. Usually, um, if it's like an American, like continental style breakfast, which they do have in, here and there, um, you know, similar, you know, dollar fifty, two dollars, two fifty. Um, if you're having lunch on Muerzo, that usually comes with a soup, a main course, and a drink. Uh, that's anywhere from $2, uh, you, know, you can maybe find $1.75 once in a blue moon, but basically $2 up to $4 with your average being $2.50, $3. Um, that's, your, that's what you're looking for, looking at uh, uh, for lunch. And then dinner, I mean, they have meriendas, which are like the lunch the dinner version of lunch, so a fixed price, cheap usually, couple, 250 you know, thereabouts, three bucks. Um, same price as lunch. They have those for dinner, otherwise you're off the menu, and obviously that's a little more expensive. Um, you know, you can find stuff off the menu anywhere from, you know, five bucks uh, all the way up to, you know, twenty dollars or so, um, although that'd be really expensive for Loja. Um, that, you do find those prices sometimes in places like Guayaquil and Quito. Um, Normally, you know, uh, uh, eight bucks, you know, six, eight bucks, 10, 12 bucks, and you start to get expensive for uh, off the menu. Um, your taxi ride is going to cost you $1.25 during the day, $1.40 at night. Um, they are metered now, so it can go up from there uh, as you, you know, are traveling longer distances, but you can get most places in the city for the uh, standard fare of $1.25 or $1.40 at night. Uh, let's talk about rent. Um, you can get a really nice, not really nice, you can get a nice apartment in Loja, um, anywhere from $200 all the way up to, you know, 500, even 550 if it's really nice and furnished. Um, and you know, that's, that's, uh, that's your range, two to 550. Um, and it just depends on size and amenities, level of luxury, you know, is there hot water and all the sinks, how luxurious is it, etc. Um, you can find stuff way cheaper than that. Uh, but it's not going to be up to, you know, standards that, uh, probably you or I would want to live in. Um, houses are more expensive. Again, you, you can find a house for under $100, but you know, it's not somewhere you don't want to live, but houses are a little more expensive. So, um, you know, three, three fifty would be more like the bottom end. And then, you know, more normally for a nice house, you're talking, you know, five, 600 bucks and up. Um, that's rent. Uh, uh, what else? So food shopping, super, super cheap, um, but anything imported really expensive. So keep that in mind in general, Ecuador has these import taxes that make imported goods through the roof expensive. Um, but anything that's produced here, uh, certainly food wise, but in general, pretty much is, is fairly cheap. So, you know, if I, I do my shopping at the Sunday market, you know, you're getting um, a bag of beans, you know, a pound of beans, dollar, dollar 25, you know, you get uh, pound of, you know, peeled, uh, local peeled garlic, you know, in a little bag for a dollar, you know, you can get, um, uh, 
you know, tomatoes, you're doing anywhere from like two pounds for a dollar up to like four or five pounds for a dollar, depending on time of year, etc. Um, you know, bananas, you're getting a lot <laughs> for a dollar. Um, you know, uh, meat is cheap as well. You know, you can get chicken is usually like you can get anywhere from like um, a dollar, yeah, just over, usually just over a dollar a pound would be like the lowest end, um, up to like two bucks if you're talking about like criollo, like the uh, locally raised, um, you know, no hormone type chicken. Um, you know, beef, same thing. You can get meat really cheap. You can go all the way up to three dollars a pound or so for like the really nicest stuff. Um, what else? Gasoline. I forget gasoline prices. Somewhere around a hundred or hundred, somewhere around a dollar thirty or so for regular unleaded. Um, I have diesel, so diesel's a dollar three um, a, a gallon. Uh, gasoline is like a dollar thirty or something. It goes up to like two bucks for the super, um, something like that. that the gas that might be a few cents off. Um, your bills, you know, your household bills, like water, you know, your utilities, water, electric, super, super inexpensive gas. Um, you, know, you could expect to pay anywhere from, you know, five, seven dollars a month in electricity all the way up to, you know, 50 if you have a big house and you've got a lot of stuff that you're running. Um, but, you know, if you have a, you know, 10, a 15 to 25 dollar bill, I think that's right about the average. Um, Water is really cheap as well. Um, you know, you, you could use a good amount of water before you start running up any sort of bills. Um, you know, you could spend as little as a few dollars or ten, fifteen dollars if you use a ton of water. So, really cheap. Um, gas comes in those ga gas uh, canisters, which are two bucks uh, each. Um, you know, you're not going to use. You might use one a month, two a month, three a month. You got a huge family. You're using it all the time. So, really, obviously, really, really cheap. Um, you know, I mean, there's lots of other stuff obviously we can talk about, but that gives you a great sense of, you know, current cost of living here in uh, Aloha, Ecuador, or in Ecuador in general for the most part. Um, the only thing that would really change by region are those rent numbers. Um, so yeah, that should cover it. Again, guys, you know, come to Ecuador, it's an awesome country, it's an awesome culture, it's a great place to live, you can grow food, it's got great weather, it's got so much going for it. Don't, uh, you know, don't come for the price. Uh, that's a perk, it's an added bonus for now. Um, we'll see what the future holds, but um, that's it, guys. Uh, again, I'm Jesse Bayer from Abundant Living Ecuador. Check us out on abecuador.com, A is an Apple, B is a boy, Ecuador.com. We're a real estate and relocation services company uh, located here in the south of Ecuador. Um, and that's it guys. Have a great day.